Son Excellence, le Capitaine Ibrahim Traoré. His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, President of FASO, Head of State. Son Excellence, le Colonel. His Excellency Colonel Asimi Goita, President of the Transition, Head of State of the Republic of Mali. Chef de l'État de la République du Mali. Monsieur le Premier Ministre. Mr. Prime Minister, Mesdames members of the delegations of Burkina Faso and Mali. It is a great honor for me to welcome you to the Sahelian land of Niger. The event that brings us together is solemn and historic as it constitutes an important step in the consolidation of the secular, geographic and cultural links that unite our peoples. The object of our meeting today is the culmination of our fierce common will to reconquer our national sovereignty and to rehabilitate our legendary dignity. It takes place on the right side of the adoption on September 16, 2023 of the Liptako Gourma Charter, instituting the Sahel State Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, the formal approval of the treaty on the creation of the Sahel State Alliance will thus ensure the fulfillment of the aspirations of our peoples which have sealed on the foundation of our Sahelian space a union of states sharing the same challenges and the same ambitions, in one word, the same destiny. Indeed, the formation of the Sahel State Alliance has already allowed to build around Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger a solid coalition based on a common defense architecture and a mutualization of means fed by a visionary solidarity in the image of those manifested by the authorities and peoples of Burkina and Mali against the armed aggression projected by ECOWAS against Niger. The constitution of this front has undermined the validity of the destabilization of our country. And I want to reiterate my feeling of deep gratitude to my brothers Ibrahim Traoré and Asumi Goita for this manifest proof of active solidarity. My country pays a vibrant tribute to you for this position. Today, this front constitutes the rampart against which will be crushed any aggression against the Confederation of the Sahel State Alliance. In this regard, it pleases me to note that the security defense of the Sahel State Alliance already has significant advances with the establishment of the Sahel State Joint Force. In the next round, in the theater of operations, our armies will carry out joint operations, concluding in the Liptako Gurma. Mr. President Goita is saddened. The Confederation Alliance of the States of the Sahel will therefore build on a substrate that ensures the protection of the population against any threat of terrorist aggression, rebellion, armed banditry, or any hostile act coming from abroad.
hostile venant de l'extérieur. I remain convinced that, in the current geopolitical context, the Confederation Alliance of the States of the Sahel constitutes the only efficient sub-regional regroupment in the field of the fight against terrorism. The ECOWAS having shown by its lack of involvement in this fight. Thus, the Confederation Alliance of the States of the Sahel alone allows us to face terrorist threats as no other regional or international structure has done before. Dear colleagues, heads of state, while consolidating this strategic axis, it is necessary in the current geopolitical context to coordinate our diplomatic actions both on the bilateral level and within multilateral organizations and to harmonize our foreign policies to best guarantee the interests of our Confederation Alliance of the States of the Sahel in the international arena. Already, significant diplomatic successes are recorded, as evidenced by the strong return of our states to the international stage. The resumption of cooperation with bilateral and multilateral partners, as well as the conclusion of new strategic partnerships. Concerning the development axis, it is urgent to create the conditions for a real food security in the countries of the Confederation and to put in place the economic, financial and monetary devices necessary for the financing of development and productive investment in the space of the states of the Confederation. The economic fate of our states also lies in industrialization in view of the transformation in place of our products and our natural resources. As well as the solidity of our confederation relies on our ability to build interconnection infrastructures roads, airline companies, railway networks, as well as structural projects in the field of agri-food, extractive industries and energy. In this direction, our populations are ahead of the states. This is evidenced by the enthusiasm generated every day by the Alliance of the States of the Sahel, with our young men and women. As this popular momentum constitutes the best age to build a people's confederation and not a bureaucratic building. Dear colleagues, our deliberations will certainly allow us to adopt the legal and institutional framework to give body and identity to the Confederation Alliance of the States of the Sahel. Our peoples have irrevocably turned their backs on the ECOWAS. It is now up to us to form the Confederation Alliance of States of the Sahel, an alternative to any regional factitious regrouping. By building a sovereign community of peoples, a community far from the manipulation of foreign powers, a community of peace, solidarity and prosperity based on our African values. De solidarité 
de prospérité basée sur nos valeurs africaines. The high-ranking officials and foreign affairs ministers who have finalized and adopted the treaty, it is with real pleasure that I mark my solemn commitment to the creation of the Confederation Alliance of States of the Sahel. I also approve the interior regulation project of the College of Heads of State of the Confederation Alliance of States of the Sahel. Niger, in my view, is committed to working tirelessly for the good progress of our confederation. It is on this note of commitment and hope that I declare open the first summit of heads of State of the Confederation Alliance of States of the Sahel. Long live the Confederation Alliance of States of the Sahel. Long live free Africa. Thank you. <laughs>